Hey guys, it's Jessica Smith here from Savant Recruitment and I have Kurt Pitchler here joined with me from Viewpoint AI. He is the founder and CEO of Viewpoint AI. Uh, we have an interesting conversation to be had right now with what's going on in the recruitment and engineering market. And I thought who better than uh, my partner, Kurt, to join me on this call to discuss some of the biggest problems that we've been seeing over the past couple of years, but specifically in 2024 and how we plan to tackle that challenge. Um, so Kurt, if you'd like to introduce yourself here and, and let us know who you are. I know I introduced you with Viewpoint AI, but if you wanna give a little bit of a rundown and then we can take it from there. Yeah, thank you, Jessica. Great to uh, see you this morning and uh, have this uh, connection. And um, so with uh, Viewpoint, we're, we have a platform. We're all about enhancing human decision-making. We're into bringing AI tools to help teams of people process large amounts of complex information and get to a consensus decision faster. And uh, so another way of putting that is like we can we enable groups and organizations to make complex decisions faster with optimal results. So we apply multitude, a multi, uh, several different uh, AI techniques to get to a verified AI digital representation so humans and individuals can uh, you know, get to a better consensus decision. So perfect. Um, I think it was so important to have you on this call with me today because we're running into some serious issues when it comes to the startup space in talent acquisition. I mean, I know that you've been probably seeing the layoffs right across the board. And not only that, just the tech market has been super, super volatile. But one thing we know is that AI is completely booming right now. Um, something that you should know, I guess, I know that I harp on it on my business page here, but uh, for Canada right now only has a 4% adoption rate in artificial intelligence tools, which is way, 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 way too long, or sorry, way too low. And then also too, over the last year, only 46 startups got into the AI space here in Canada. Now with that, with the funding that's going on in the United States, like it's, it's just a crazy time for artificial intelligence. I, I wanted to ask the question to you, when you were building out this product, why was it important for you to step into the AI realm? Yeah, well, um, thank you. That's a good, good question. Well, technology provides us many benefits and uh, there's a lot of value that uh, AI can help people with and especially, and our focus is with decision-making yeah. because one of the hardest things to do, uh, but we do it all the time. And, uh, you know, we have AI tools to help us and augment our process in, in every aspect of life, but I haven't really seen anything around decision specifically focused on, on the application with decision making. Yeah. Okay. So that's really important. I think a lot of, you know, what we're doing here at Savant Recruitment as well, I think for us to be early adopters, like just you know, shameless plug here, but I, I truly believe that AI is is the future here. And I know that, you know, there's there's a couple of people on the fence that are saying, oh, well, are we, you know, implementing it ethically and are we doing the right things? And is this really going to be the future of the way work is? And I'm I'm a firm believer in it and I'm a firm believer in always testing. Uh, no matter what kind of business that you have, you should always be testing new tools and new processes and, and all these different things. So um, starting a partnership with Viewpoint AI only made sense for us because this is one of the big, I think this is one of the biggest problems that we're dealing with right now in the recruitment space is decision-making. And so what I've done is I've created a Notion document. I'm actually gonna share the screen here. Um, give me one second. And I just wanna go over some points of some of the problems that we're dealing with, not only on engineering teams, but in the recruitment market as well things that I've seen over the last 11 years, things I've seen with my clients um, and ways that we can kind of really hone in and how Viewpoint AI can actually help us hone in on our decision-making process. So there's a couple tips, techniques. We're gonna go over some pointers um, and what the mentality should really be behind it. So I'm just gonna share this right now. Kurt, can you see that on the screen? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, okay, perfect. 
hoping the audience can see it as well. So um, the top four issues facing today's recruitment market and, and sorry, recruitment and engineering market and how to fix it. So today we're joined by our partner, Kurt Pitchler of Viewpoint AI. And so some of the topics that we're gonna go over is four, four key ones for 2024 is Goldilocks syndrome, lack of process, too many cooks in the kitchen, and constant bottlenecking. And the, these, these top four are the top ones that I constantly see running a recruitment process when I'm working with, with any sort of hiring manager. And so there are things that we can do to be implementing it so that it just doesn't get as drawn out. We're not turning candidates off. So um, Goldilocks syndrome. So I'm just gonna get into it here. So Goldilocks syndrome is when a hiring manager is looking for the perfect fit. And so that's a big problem for us as recruiters. What we can do is use concrete data to show, you know, perfect doesn't exist. And for you as a hiring manager or a founder, you need to know that A, perfect doesn't exist, but B, that you'd be looking for an 80% fit when it comes to hiring a candidate. Um, if you know what you are actually looking for, there is no reason why it should, should take more than three candidates sent by your recruiter to make a hire. Um, and then if it does take more than three candidates, there's a serious issue that needs to be addressed. This is a major pain point for me here, Kurt, and I wanted to know with Viewpoint AI, how is it possible to address, you know, go the Goldilocks syndrome that's going on right now in the market with hiring managers? Yeah, thank you. Well, um, I, I like this uh, this term because it's, you know, you want to find the person that's just right. And, you know, not too much, not too, you know, you got to find that sweet spot, Yeah. you know, with uh, compensation, with uh, skills, with uh, personality. So you're trying to find a, how they're just right in many different aspects, mm -hmm. right? Personality, the cultural fit, the skill level. So there's um, uh, one of the, the challenges, and I, th I like this point here, it's like, uh, uh, you got to find out what you want. Sometimes you don't, you discover this along the way. And we can, we actually have uh, in, as in our tool, the ability to help teams of people find out what they want. So they're, so they're clear. Mm -hmm. And when you're clear, you know what to go after. Mm -hmm. You know, instead of like shooting in the dark, let's just hope for 80%. Yeah. That's great. I mean, it's, it's doing something, but I think that there's a better way. Yeah. yeah. And uh, when you can understand what you want better and what your team wants better and what's a better alignment, like what are the, I'm interested in using AI to find out what are the attributes of the people that best fit your organization, the role, the department, the team of people that they're working with, uh, how they communicate, how they interact, how do they make everyone else 10 times better around them? I want, we can use AI tools to help us understand those attributes. Yeah. And, uh, and that's a really hard problem. Yeah. I think and one of the biggest, the, the biggest things too, just adding on top of that, I mean, me as a recruiter, whenever I'm doing an intake call with a hiring manager or a founder to the questions, the must haves and the nice to haves. And I would say, every time I ask that the must haves of a nice to have somewhere in this process, they'll be calling a nice to have a must have, right? And then we find out like once the second candidate is put in or, or you know, interviewing with them that they're like, ah, actually, maybe it's not a must have. Maybe it's just a nice to have based on what the data, you know, is kind of telling us right now in the market, right? And then also too, like, just there's so much mix, mixing around the must haves and nice to haves. And sometimes we just, we, we just put ourselves in a hole and that's it. And then they end up missing out on so much of the market because they're so laser focused on having the perfect, perfect, perfect fit that we're not asking the right questions as teams cohesively together. Like I, I'm just the recruiter. I just, I need to come in and I need to be able to come and headhunt your role, fill your role, find that ideal, perfect fit. But my major question is, are we having the right conversations between the engineering departments or whatever department it is, are the right conversations happening between the departments? And I'd say 
90% of the time they aren't. There are a, there's a lot of misalignment and mismatching. And so what, what, what one department thinks should be the perfect fit, another department is like, eh, maybe, maybe not. And we run into that between like product management and what's going on on the dev team and like just, just anything, anything is possible. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to go into lack of process. Uh, that's another big, big one that I find when I'm working with, with startups is that A, there's no process. B, there's like a lack thereof. C, there's so much adding so much like BS basically to the process that just doesn't need to be there. So um, what can we do about it? So you can make sure you're working with the right recruiter to design this process for you. Do not stray from the process and start adding more and more interviews to placate other people in the organization. That's another one. I've had so many incidences uh, where, you know, there are other departments that are like, well, I need to be in the interview process, but you have like, you have no say on, on the decision that's being made. It's really between the hiring manager. It's not operations. It's not HR. It's not someone in finance that decides who it, it's not your investor. I had that, that one happen to the investor wanted to be part of the hiring process as well. It's you, you need to kind of step away from that mentality of like, everyone needs to be involved in this process because it starts getting longer, drawn out, more muddled. Um, you need to actually build a process and have that right, the right systems in place and just making sure that the process is constantly being refined and tweaked and always be testing. Like that is the biggest thing that like, even in my agency that I do always be testing. Um, that's like across the board for any startup, uh, any founder or hiring manager, like it doesn't matter if you're an engineering team, whatever it is, like that is the rule of business, always be testing. So tell me a little bit about Viewpoint AI and you know, if you were working or if you were implementing Viewpoint AI, into a startup with a lack of process, how that can help them along the way and help refine that. Yeah, great. Because um, if you have a great process, you want to follow it. But I'm interested in the continual refinement of process. Yeah. And because there's always areas to refine and optimize. That's what we use AI tools for is to optimize. And sometimes it's including more people. Sometimes it's including less people. And being able to be flexible and do that. I want a template uh, hiring teams uh, going through that process. So when you can see it mm -hmm. in our platform, you'll be able to see maybe redundancies, things that you can just take out that are wasted time. And when you can, when you can see the whole process laid out uh, and the process is a series of decisions. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, you know, you ingest 100 candidates. The first decision is go from 100 to 50, mm -hmm. right? And you need yeah. a certain amount of people, a certain amount of criteria, not too much, because then you're bogged down and you got, you know, you got 100 people to go through uh, or more. And you, so you just need to, you know, hey, get to a decision quick and we can template that. And now the next decision is go from 50 to your top 20. Mm -hmm. And you're going to add some more criteria mm -hmm. and then you're going to go from 20 to your top five or whatever that series of decisions is when you can template it and look at it and be like oh well we could be a little bit more efficient here mm -hmm. add this in here or take this away just to get to that next point better when you and when and when we then we can measure a decision process mm -hmm. i'm inter i'm interested in uh, measurability predictability and repeatability of decision yeah. processes for hiring yeah and when you involve more people mm -hmm. yeah, well which which is your next point yeah. right because <laughs> all these things are connected it, right it's yeah they're like the yeah they're the biggest problems i'm, I'm facing we're all yeah. facing it yeah so understanding your business objective better, which is on your top one, uh, right? You know, what it, what is it that you actually want? And then uh, when you can see that, and then you can template and lay out and template and see the process, you can refine it. When, when we're talking about, you know, who to involve. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, of course, too many cooks in the kitchen kind of concept you get bogged down by bureaucracy and you get nothing done. Yeah. But one thing is that we need to in include other people. 
Yeah. How many people we need to include is is important to know and we can refine that. Yeah. With technology and you and uh one uh very particular and an important element that we have is to be able to include more people because you have the chance of getting more insight from them, mm -hmm. but in a way that it doesn't bog down the process and you can you reuse that insight. Yeah, for sure. So I I I wanna hire, I want a system that can help teams of people hire better people and understand why. Yeah. Because I want to find out the why, because then it's repeatable. Okay. Yeah. Then we can make decisions even predictable and we can measure that yeah. progress. So one of the first rules of business, if we can't measure it, how can you improve it? Yeah. Right? No, that's the well, same thing. Same thing on, on my end here. So yeah, no, that's, that's really good. So, I mean, to everyone that's watching, that was the next point. Miss Kurt's bringing it up. There's too many cooks in the kitchen. Uh, almost every single time I've run a, a process, it's this person needs input, this person needs input. They have nothing to do with the process. They have nothing to do with it. So too many cooks in the kitchen basically is, this is when there's too many individuals finding themselves needing to be involved in the process when they have absolutely no business being in the process. And so what can we do about it? Remove them. Um, if the said person's feedback is welcome, but they actually have no say, remove them. Uh, trust that your recruiter knows what they're doing. And then, you know, what we usually do, this is before Viewpoint AI ever came into the picture too. So my, my whole process was there should only be two to three people in the process. And so what that would usually look like when running a process is you either have your engineering manager and senior engineer or whoever the executive like engineering person is, and then a senior engineer involved. And that would be your first or second round um, after the screening call with the recruiter. So I would handle that, that, that call. But the next step is engineering manager or senior engineering manager, and then a senior engineer. And that's that first round. And then your second round is the founder or CEO. And if you can't figure out within, within a series of three rounds, then it's just, it's just messy. So anyone past these two to three people is exce excessive and will muddle the process and draw it out un unnecessarily and longer than it has to be. You're going to be putting the risk of turning off the candidate or potentially losing them. Um, and a big thing is candidates obviously want to know that you want them. So if there's a bunch of people in the process, the candidate is probably thinking that there's going to be a lot of red tape that they're going to need to get through if they come work for you and you don't want that. You want them to know, and you don't also, you also don't want them going to all your competitors. And like, that's, that's a continuous thing that I have to harp on is, you know, you're at risk, no matter when you run a hiring process, you're always going to be at risk, no matter where you are in the process of potentially losing a candidate, if you can't move fast enough. Um, what I've seen, and I, I think I mentioned this before on the call is that, you know, I've worked with companies that decided the CFO should be involved or the investor should be involved or you know, someone from HR that has no business being in it, that's like an HR coordinator should be involved. It shouldn't be that. It's whoever the person is managing this candidate and the CEO and founder. So that's it. Um, going into the next point, which is constant bottlenecking, which basically happens when all three of these issues arise, which this is always, this is always coming up. Um, so what can you do about it? Uh, implement better systems so that you're not wasting time. Meet with Kurt Pitchler about Viewpoint AI. You could do that. Um, always remember that time kills all deals in life and in your business. So the early bird gets the worm. It's also important that you're on the ball when it comes to running this process. Um, and just dropping the ball, things are going to fall apart. And then you'll need to start all over wasting everyone's time and money, including your own. Uh, and just this is another big one take the process seriously and make sure everyone is on the same page before you execute the search. And I think that's a big thing that where viewpoint AI can come in because there's only so many questions I can ask to make sure that your departments are on the same page, but it takes that, that internal communication to really happen in those meetings to happen where you could, you guys can basically, whoever, whoever is deciding can duke it out and say, Hey, this is a must have, this is a nice to have, et cetera, et cetera. Um, another one too, uh, this is going to be the biggest one, I think for 2024, it should have been big for 2023, but we didn't see enough of this happen. 
making sure that you lean on your recruiter at all stages of the process. So don't leave them out of your decision-making process. Get them a seat at the table with you. And, you know, we're here, we're here to help you and advise you. Um, if you do all this, you won't be fired from your recruitment agency. So Kurt, I mean, what do you think about the, the constant bottlenecking? I mean, all the issues that I, I went through with you and how Viewpoint can potentially address it. I mean, I think having a system like Viewpoint AI is going to be a game changer for a lot of companies that are looking to move faster, leaner, harder, better uh, than their competition. Um, with the bottlenecking, like, are there any extra points that you want to add on to uh, on how Viewpoint is going to be able to excel all the crap that's going on? Sorry yeah. to say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have some thoughts. I, I really like metrics. And yeah. when we have things like uh, efficiency, I want to find out the efficiency of a hiring process. Because if we can have some number that we can measure that, and then we can see how we can improve it. Yeah. And because um, time kills. And that's one metric is like, how long does it take to even get through that? In some yeah. cases, it might be 83 days, right? Yeah. And now we have something to improve on. Yeah. And we can track it and find out what are those uh, redundancies or wasted time areas. But th it's the thing with process. Process is great. There has to be buy-in yeah. from everyone. And not only buy-in, but it has to be easy because yeah. then there will be buy-in. Because yeah. what if you have a really great process, but no one follows it? For yeah. what reasons? We got to know what those are. Yeah, we need, It needs to be easy and intuitive and people, it needs to include people at different technical levels, right? Because not everyone is really good at all the, you know, tools that are available, yeah. right? And we don't want, uh, one thing about Viewpoint is that we make it easy for people to participate in a complex process and not be bogged down with having to learn a new software platform. Yeah, this is uh, this is really really important. Yeah, um, it has to be easy. Yeah, and so these are some ways that we can help uh, high value decision making for decision teams making recruitment decisions. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Um, with that, I was going to ask if you'd be willing to go over like a high level demo of your platform if people have time, but if you don't have the time right now, Kurt, what I'd like to do, I know that I'm recording this call for everyone that's watching. I'm going to attach Kurt's information below. If you're interested in meeting with Kurt to demo the Viewpoint AI platform, please uh, go to the link below in the comment section or sorry, in the description section uh, and feel free to shoot him an email and, and let him know that you want to meet and, and have like a high level demo of the platform. It's definitely something that I'm going to be suggesting to a lot of the partners that I'm meeting with, just because everyone's always looking to go harder, faster, and leaner, uh, save money and time. And so with that, it's important to have a tool that's going to help you get there so that you can compete in this market, which Unfortunately, some people are lagging behind. So there's that. But uh, yeah, any any last comments or thoughts or just to wrap up here? Yeah, well, um, I'm very happy to uh, connect with you. And I I love improving decision making. It's just one of you know my, my passion because yeah. when you, humans can get together and make a better consensus decision, get on the same page faster, I think there's a lot of value there. Yep. And uh, hiring decisions are very collaborative and uh, we can improve that process. And, you know, uh, maybe on the ending note is uh, if, if we make a, a decision to hire someone, it turns out really well. Yeah. And we don't know why we just got lucky. Yeah. And as great as getting lucky is, um, I want to know what those attributes are so they can be repeated. Yeah. So we can put it, we can add it to the process. Yeah. And improve that. And these all these different elements that we were talking about today. We can all the all all of these things can be improved and uh you can measure that improvement. For sure. So For sure. I'm looking forward to meeting anyone that wants uh to have a more specific demo. Yeah. Uh one one of the things I'm gonna I'm gonna just gonna leave this off here. I think, you know, when it's a, affecting your pockets as a company, you know, record profits here. I know everyone wants to talk about record profits, but bottlenecking is such a huge problem. We really, really need to get in front of this. 
And so I know I can harp on the time kills all deals all day long, but really when it comes to your process and for each day that you don't have said candidate on board in your organization, you are losing money. I did discuss this in my last YouTube video um, about kind of what's going on in the market and how you can calculate that. But there really is a huge cost to running a recruitment process longer than 30 days. It's actually atrocious and <laughs> you're, you're hemorrhaging a lot of money. And I just don't, I just don't want to see people in that, that, that space and mindset anymore. It's, I want to see that they're doing better. They're not, you know, this is just how business dot business is done. And then they're, they're laying off their staff, right? There's no, there's no reason for it. So um, Kurt, I want to take the time to say thank you for joining me on this call today and talking about some of the issues that are going on. I'm going to link your website and your email below in the description box. And yeah, if anyone has any questions, you can feel free to reach out to me, uh, Jessica at spotrecruitment.ca. That will also be below where you can book in a meeting with me on Calendly. But I'd love to talk all about Viewpoint AI, how they're going to change the game here. And uh, I love the fact that we get to be early adopters of, of your system, Kurt. And uh, I'm hoping that any other startup that's watching this right now is going to, you know, say, hey, we need to be better. Let's 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 take a meeting with Kurt. So thank you again. Uh, I will leave the rest to everyone else to just go through the comments and take it from there. Have a great day, guys.